Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a better, safer moto lift from one of these simple scissor lifts. So stick around and I'll show you how to do that. A question you might be asking is why am I using this lift? Well, my motorcycles don't have center stands and using the jack stand three point lift method was uh, works great if you're just changing tires, especially on the bigger bike. But there's some other work that I need to do on these bikes that having it tipped over uh, at an angle wasn't necessarily the way I wanted to do it and it's not as secure as I would like. So it finally came to a point where I needed to do something that would lift the bike up. Now I didn't want one of the big lifts that uh, a lot of guys have. It's just it's too much in the garage. I needed something that was small, compact, that I could tuck away in the corner. So that's why I went with this particular lift. Now, when I went to use this lift on this bike, I found that it wasn't as secure as I wanted it to, to be. So I was thinking of ideas to make that better. And that's what we're gonna talk about today is how to make a platform for this lift with some lashing points so that this bike can be stabilized on there and you don't have to worry about it tipping off. And I'll also demonstrate it on my big R1200 GS as well, how this can lift that up so that you can do some rear wheel work if you need to do any service on the final drive take tires front and rear off at the same time. That's what we'll do when <laughs> I got interrupted. All right, so we're gonna take this lift, we're gonna make a platform for it with some lashing points to keep the bike stabilized on it and go through that. What you're gonna to need to do this, if you're gonna follow my instructions and build a platform like I do, is one two by four by eight. Now this is an eight foot, I have some scrap wood left over which gave me the idea for doing this but all of the measurements that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna make it such that one two by four, uh, eight foot long will be all you need to cut and build the platform for the, for the lift. You'll also need uh, four eye bolts and for the arms for the lashing points to secure the bike and eight three and a half, the three inch to three and a half inch wood screws just to put it all together um, and to hold it in place. So that should be all the materials that you are going to need. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrate building this so that while I'm actually doing it, I can just film the cutting, the screwing, the setting it all on there and not have to talk about it as we go. So hopefully that works out. Uh, if not, I might have to redo it a second time. So we'll see. So we'll keep going on this. And if I say so anymore, we'll have to start over. I'll start the narration and then uh, I'll piece it together uh, one cut at a time. And I'll show the measurements that I'm using for each of these. It may vary a little bit depending on how wide your lift is, but I'll show uh, what I'm doing as we go. And let's put together this platform so we have a safe, secure moto lift. I think I can just hang out here while we talk about this. So <clears throat> what I decided is I measured the width of the bike and in order to keep everything within one, two by four by eight, I'm going to cut the pieces, the arms of the platform at 32 inches and then <clears throat> I will drill holes and screw in eye bolts at each end. So 32 inch arms. Each of those will be cut and that'll be the arms that go on either side of the platform itself. Okay, now we have the arms cut. I'm going to drill the holes. Now I had some scrap wood that already had these eye bolts in it so I'm only going to have to do it on one side. We'll drill that. We're going to go ahead and put the eye bolts in now and that will be our lashing points for the lift. All right, we have our arms built. Now we need to put a cross member underneath the lift in order to support it and to put anchor points for the arms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the arms on either side of the lift and I'm gonna measure that entire width and this is gonna be the size of the cross members that I wanna cut. And whatever that measurement ends up being, I'll put it on there. And like I said, it will vary depending on what lift you have. They're probably all pretty close, but I'll put the measurement that I'm using. So let's cut those members. All right, we have that done. I'm going to set the cross members on, uh, on the ground. I'm gonna put the lift on top of those. I'm gonna put them on each end of the lift. 
Now, this is an important step to make sure everything is measured out properly. We need to find the middle point of the arms, which should be at the 16 inch mark, and I'm gonna mark that. Do that on both of those. And I also need to find the middle point of the lift. So I'm gonna measure the width of the lift, and I'm gonna mark where the center point is on both sides, so that when I set the cross members or the, the anchor arms on, I get those centered in the middle of the lift. So once I have that anchored, I've got them where I want them, now I can drill the wood screws in and anchor my arms to the platform. And once we're done with that, that should be all there is to it. It's pretty simple. You don't need a lot to secure the bike, just something to keep it from moving back and forth and lashing it down nice and simply. So now that we have this assembled, let's go ahead and put it under the bike and see what happens. Okay, I've got this strap on. I've got it loose so that I can tip the bike over enough to put the kickstand up so that the um, jack doesn't hit the kickstand as it gets lifted. So let's do that. Bring that over. And then I'm gonna flip this up. And I still have the strap here for security. If it starts going too far, the strap will grab it and I could hold it here. And then center it over the jack. I don't have my earmuffs on. All right, so this is my initial time doing this, uh, doing this whole install, figuring things out. Um, I could anchor it in the back to pull the front tire up, but it's just barely off. Back tire rolls just fine. Um, I had to find a little bit longer straps. It's gonna be different for every bike. So before you lift it up, I recommend getting a strap that fits loosely on whatever anchor point you're gonna have, especially on the kickstand side. Make sure that's loose and that you can tip it up and there's still enough slack in it so that when you lift it, it's not trying to keep the bike pulled to the side. And then once, once the wheels are up, tighten these down so that you have a nice stable platform um, for the bike. So it works great for this. I, I'm actually going to be pulling this rear tire, uh, rear wheel off later today to switch the tire out. Um, so now that this is on here, I'm going to try it on the R1200GS and uh, see if I'm able to lift it up as easily um, as, I, as I did this. So I used a pneumatic just to get it up and down um, to go a little quicker. But yeah, I'm very pleased with um, how secure this is now compared to the way it was with just, just the lift. Um, I don't know if I need the back straps. It might depend on what I'm trying to do or if I want it to be a little bit more stable. So, um, let's do the 1200 and then we'll go from there. Right, it's kind of a learning process since I haven't had a lift before and figuring things out. The balance of this bike and because of the suspension travel on the R1200GS Rally is it really elongates. So I would have had to use some sort of um, lift underneath here, some sort of blocks to get this up anyway. So what I found is the front tire came off quite a ways. I've strapped it down. It's pretty solid. If I need to get the weight off the rear end, I'm going to have to probably put a little bit of a lift here. So if I tilt, teeter it to the front, it lifts it enough. At least now it's a secure, stable platform for doing work on the bike. The other thing that I think is important is lift the bikes. So I'm gonna do it with the other one. 
is lift the bikes from the kickstand side so you can lean it up and balance it and flip the kickstand up and then uh, that way you can get your platform underneath you and then the kickstand is out of the way. Otherwise, the lift is gonna hit the edge of the kickstand because of the width. Um, so yeah, it's just some of the learning curve of doing this. But once it's on the lift and it's strapped down, I have no concerns of this bike falling over on me. I think the important thing to remember is to have really long straps um, to start with. So as it lifts, you have some room to expand. You can balance it. And then as the, the lift goes up and you get it where you want it, then you can strap them down. You can see these are pretty tight. I think um, I may not need to use these back anchors because it is pretty secure the way it is now. But um, it's always something I can add or if I need to, I can cut them off later so it's easier to slide it in and out. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this to be a bit useful if you're wanting to do a motorcycle lift that's safe and secure in a pretty easy way and not spend hundreds of dollars doing it, this is something you could try. Um, if you do this, you're doing it at your own risk. If anything comes up, that's uh, um, up to you to take the necessary safety precautions when you're lifting your bike. If you're leaning it back and forth, do what you're comfortable with. Um, if you need to do it with two people, do it with two people. Um, I think it's easy enough if you use straps, uh, it'll keep the bike from tipping over. And that's what I did, even lifting the big GS. It wasn't really a problem. I wasn't concerned about it. I got the lift up underneath it so that it had some stability there. And we went from there. So again, I hope you found this useful, something you can do. If you have any questions, uh, leave those in the comments. If you have any comments about that, leave that in the comments as well. Um, just trying to find some ways to make things easier and safer uh, to work on the bikes in the garage. So thanks for watching. Get out and do some riding and I will see you out there. Zip, 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 zip.